Hello and welcome to my guide. I will be going over Gangplank's passive, Trial by Fire. So, there is a lot more to this than it may seem. When using this, it applies uh, true damage burn for 1.5 seconds, it has a cooldown of 15 seconds, gives Gangplank more movement speed. That's great. But the problem with that is, it has a 15 second cooldown. But when it gets refreshed by barrels, you can actually do a couple of different things to make it uh, apply several different times. You can get it to apply three times in one instance, which gives him a lot of burst damage. You can't do this until you have some attack speed. If you don't have any attack speed, you're going to need at least like a zeal or a dagger. Uh, but if you have Trinity Force, you can do this easily. And... When people engage on you, and you use this, you can get a lot of damage out. I mean, you can do 600 true damage instantly, on top of how much damage your barrels do, which ignores 50% of their armor. You're going to be true, doing true damage over time on your auto attacks. You're going to be going right past their armor. Their armor's not going to do anything. You're going to be hitting any tank for a lot of damage, actually. So, with his barrels... This is how you do it. Alright. You place down a barrel. And you're standing outside the barrel. You're gonna be fighting an enemy. If they go in on you, you're gonna like you're gonna want to they're not gonna want to be in your AoE. So if you place a barrel on top of them or near them, and then turn around and shoot the previous barrel, it's gonna the explosion from the first barrel is gonna travel to the second one. And when the first barrel explodes, it's going to refresh your passive, and you're going to auto-attack in between, and when the explosion finally reaches the second barrel, and that one explodes, it's going to refresh your passive again, and you're going to auto-attack again. And if you already have your passive on before you do this, you'll be able to activate your passive three times on the same enemy. And it's going to do a lot of damage, and it's probably going to be pretty unsuspecting 600 true damage on top of how much damage your barrels are going to do. Plus any Sheen procs that you have, because you want to get uh, Sheen and Phage before you actually build into Zeal or Trinity Force or anything like that. Or you're going to need Sheen and Phage before you do Trinity Force anyway, so get, that, get Zeal after those two items. But when you do get Zeal, you'll be able to do this, and you're going to be doing a lot of damage. People want to suspect. So I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. Alright, so I placed down the first barrel. Hecarim engages on me. I'm going to auto attack him first. Then I'm going to place down the second barrel. And I'm going to shoot the first one. Auto attack him in between. And then auto attack him a second time. I just did 600 true damage. That was slow. But I could definitely... I'll show you guys what it looks like when I do it faster. I'm going to wait till my passive is back up. Alright. This is what it's going to look like. Well, I didn't need to apply it the third time, but it's still, it's a lot of damage. I went through all of his armor. He had Dead Man's Plate, and I was hitting him for tons of true damage and ignoring much of his armor. So, that is what it looks like when you apply his passive multiple times. You're going to be blowing through everything. And it's also going to help you stick to them really well, because when you auto-attack, you're getting 30% movement speed. When you shoot a barrel... It's going to proc your Rage from your Trinity Force, which gives you more movement speed, because you destroyed the unit. So you get 60 movement speed on top of the 30%, and then you get more movement speed just from destroying the barrel itself. You're going to be moving at over 500 movement speed easy. And it's going to slow down your enemy by 80%. So they're going to be moving at like 200, 300 movement speed, and you'll be flying at like 500 movement speed. So there's not going to be a whole lot that they can do to get away from you unless you're fighting someone like Fizz or something that can just leap away. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you're chasing an enemy who's faster than you at first and how what you can do to close the gap on them in order to start fighting them and just kill them in general. So. Alright, so this Hecarim is gonna, he's gonna run in a circle around this map, and I'm going to be trying to hit him with a barrel, and he's gonna be trying to, like, dodge them. And he is faster than me, as you can see right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a barrel in front of him, connect it with a second one, 
And he keeps dodging well anyways. You shouldn't let it get to three barrels like I just did. That was very bad, but... Alright, so... You place that on this one. So on the second one, you just shoot it. Because... When that happens, they won't be able to destroy the second barrel that you just placed because it's going to have 3 HP. Unless they turn around and destroy the first barrel. But if they're doing that, you're just closing the gap between you and him. So you'll be able to use this to get close to the enemy. And you'll be able to run up, apply your pass, you get 30% more movement speed. You'll be able to throw it. And if you only have one barrel and you're chasing someone, you're going to have to lead it by a lot. The sea but, I mean, has no memory. So, you're going to have to leave that. They can turn around and destroy it. But, it's much better if you're chasing enemies with two barrels. You're going to be able to catch them. And that concludes my guide to Gangplank's passive. Thank you for watching. And I will be coming out with more videos, so... If you want to keep up to date on those, just like and subscribe. And, uh, I'll be getting back with Gangplank montages. Maybe some more guides stuff like that. So thank you for watching. I will see you